Hello students. Welcome to the series of organic chemistry lectures. Dear students, we have been learning organic chemistry chapters under alcohols, phenols and ethers. In previous lecture, we have completed alcohols, their preparation, properties, that is chemical and physical properties. Today, we are going to learn phenols. Cumin, hydroperoxide, process for the preparation of phenol. This is commercial method students where this cumin is nothing but what is cumin? Isopropyl benzene. This isopropyl benzene is nothing but this is having isopropyl benzene. Where it is having highly labile, labile hydrogen. This highly labile hydrogen upon losing this hydrogen, this carbon is stabilized because of tertiary nature. If it forms free radical or carbocation, it is going to be stable because it is tertiary carbocation or tertiary free radical at the same time it is benzylic also. That is why it easily undergoes oxidation, aerial oxidation with oxygen to give cumin hydroperoxide. This intermediate structure is very very important students. It has been asked in so many entrance exams. So this is CS3, CS3. This cumin hydroperoxide upon treatment with H plus and water it is going to give phenol. Plus and this is C CS3 and CS3 here it is going to form acetone phenol this is cumin hydroperoxide the intermediate structure is cumin hydroperoxide yes so this cumin hydroperoxide undergoes some rearrangement reaction in presence of water and H plus, it is going to give phenol. Let us see the mechanism of this reaction. So, what is the first step? So, this cumin in presence of oxygen loses hydrogen free radical. How to write hydrogen free radical? So, generation of free radical takes place under aerial oxidation. So, that has to be written with half. with half hook students this is half hook half fish hook yes the arrow should be written as of fish hook right so to give this cumin free radical this cumin free radical is stable and minus hydrogen free radical this cumin free radical is going to take up oxygen and this oxygen is going to undergo this free radical homolysis to give in presence of this free radical oxygen undergoes homolysis to make free radical and this free radical is going to form bond with this carbon to give hydroperoxide intermediate. This is going to form O and O this is free radical is here and this free radical now it takes up hydrogen which is there in the reaction mixture to form cumin hydroperoxide intermediate. This is the structure we are going to get at this stage. Now when I add water, when I add H plus ions to this, this high oxygen takes a proton to form an intermediate. This is 
hydroperoxide and O hydrogen is here now this is so this oxonium ion is going to lose water molecule minus water and what is the charge on this now so this oxygen is going to attain positive charge to satisfy that positive charge this phenyl ring along with this bond is going to migrate or rearrange onto this oxygen then what is the ch charge on this carbon it is going to be positively charged let me write here so this phenyl ring and now it is attached to this oxygen oxygen and previous it is here and this is positively charged now right so this positively charged molecule is going to take up water which is there in the reaction mixture to form this intermediate so i am straightening this oxygen yes so this side let me write this double bond and water is attached here and this water molecule now undergoes tautomerism tautomerism what is going to happen it is going to take up this proton and here it is going to form this tautomer this mechanism is very very important students with respect to your board exams or even your, with, your, with respect to your entrance exams also because it has been asked so many times the intermediate structures yes so this is the intermediate now what is going to happen is it loses this proton what is the charge here because it is having positive charge it takes up this bond to satisfy phenol <coughs> oh bond to give this is the phenol oxygen and oh and here the remaining is going out as double bond o oh, so the what is the outcome the overall outcome is phenol and acetone so acetone also is a very very important solvent industrial solvent or it is commonly used for washings yes at the same time it is a starting material for the different types of organic compounds yes students so this is how cumin hydroperoxide process for the preparation of phenol can be used so this is the mechanism students if you have any queries please write down in comments box so it is very very important if you want please take a screenshot